Hello, today I'd like to tell you about constructing quantum cryptography from two random quantum states and by extension, wormholes. And this is joint work with Prabhanjan Anand and Henry Yuan, appearing in Crypto 2022. So in this abstract, I would like to start by asking the following question. Take your favorite cryptography, um, maybe AES, SHA-2, SHA-3, RSA, lattices, or even concrete schemes like TLS, and you actually prove its concrete security without any assumptions. Um, by crypto research over the past few decades, now we know that any unconditional security proof will necessarily imply the existence of uh, this object called one-way functions. And thus, this would settle the million dollar question regarding whether P equals MP or not. However, this work combined with a prior work by Kreshmer last year, we show that there are no such barrier for the proving security for quantum cryptography. And this is also concurrent with another work by Morime and Yamakawa. Both of the, these works is going to be appearing in crypto 2022. So if this sounds interesting to you, please come to our talk or read our paper. So in a bit more detail, um, Kreshmer last year showed that unlike classically, P equals MP does not rule out the existence of quantum pseudo-randomness. In the relativizing setting, meaning that there is a quantum oracle relative to which P equals to MP, but quantum pseudo-randomness exists. In this work, we show that assuming the same flavor of quantum pseudo-randomness, we can actually use it to construct multiple useful quantum cryptography, including commitment schemes and encryption schemes. And furthermore, we also show how to instantiate existing transformation from commitment to quantum multi-party secure computation protocols with our quantum commitment schemes. And therefore, we show how to go from quantum pseudo-randomness to quantum secure multi-party computations. And as a corollary, this shows that even if P equals MP, it does not necessarily rule out the existence of quantum cryptography, unlike classically. So a bit more technically, the pseudorandomness that we are considering is called pseudorandom state generator, or short as PRS, which is an object introduced by Ji Liu and Song in 2018, which maps a lambda bit C to an n qubit state. And we show that um, if the output length is a little bit more than two log lambda, then we can use it to construct statistically binding commitments. And if n is super logarithmic, then we can use it to construct one-time encryption schemes for arbitrarily long messages. And the main technical insight from our work is that we define a pseudorandom function analog of PRS, which we call pseudorandom function-like states, or PRFS for short. And we show how starting from PRS, we can construct short and poor PRFS which suffices for constructing commitments and encryptions. Furthermore, we also show how PRFS in general can also be plugged into existing classical construction, um, just like PRF classically. So to conclude, let me talk about a few candidate quantum pseudo-randomness or candidate PRS constructions. One construction is observed or pointed out by Bull and Pfefferman and Vadrani in 2020, which shows that um, wormhole dynamics actually give you a way to instantiate quantum PRS. Another candidate is random quantum circuits. And this is also a good candidate because there are a lot of literature studying this object from quantum supremacy. And furthermore, we might hope that using this approach, we might even be able to come up with quantum cryptography that is secure uh, against quantum adversary, but also implementable on near-term quantum devices. With that, I conclude this talk. Thank you for your attention.